Okay, so cultural entomology is the third branch of entomology. You have the academic sciences, which are the oldest and most well established. That's the zoology, the morphology, the natural history, the biology and life cycles. And then you have the applied sciences, which are very important for economics and other reasons, so agriculture, pesticides, health and disease control. And then you have this term cultural entomology. It's, it's sort of the lesser known of the three. The term was only really coined a little over 20 years ago by the man who curated the Los Angeles County History Museum. His name is Charles Hogue. And the thing about cultural entomology, it examines the influence, the parallels and connections between humans and insects. And a day like Bug Day here at the Random Museum is one of the great examples of how with just a little bit of explanation, a little bit of understanding, and a lot of fascination, this entire world of the microcosm opens up for humans. And as we go forward as a, as a civilization, as a society, we have a lot of decisions and choices to make. And the insects can be inspiration for robotics, for biomimicry, engineering. It can be for health and economic reasons, but it, for also fantastic artistic reasons. Look at this beautiful creature. This is a phasmid from Malaysia and that the microstructures, our society gets to learn about insects at a scale and an intimacy that no other culture in human history has ever been able to do with digital photography and videography, microscopy. We get to slow it down, we get to blow it up, and we get to share it with one another instantly across the internet. So all these amazing discoveries that are happening with insects, it's all about understanding our parallels and connections with the natural world. And there are a few ambassadors that are easier to find and more fascinating in the long run than our six and eight legged friends. So that's what the Insect News Network's all about. Imagine that.